Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. So UFC and Conor McGregor, he has lost to Dustin Warrior and it was in the second round and it was down to a boxing match more so than anything else because it seemed like Conor McGregor couldn't really do much other than a few head kicks in there and other than that he was a stand-up boxer in this fight. Now often we do see him go with those kind of game plans but still Dustin Poirier was able to beat him at his own game. Now Conor McGregor had his moments in the fight, it wasn't like it was a one-sided beatdown, it wasn't like that at all. But Dustin was able to do something that was very very clever and that was when Conor McGregor was backing him up and he had his back towards the octagon. But then he was able to get around Conor McGregor and have the space behind him, then it pushed Conor back. Conor had nowhere to go and that is when he jumped on him because you could see when he hurt Conor as well. Conor had him backed up but he hurt him with a left I think, it might have been a right. But I mean, it's only one or the other, but anyway, he hurt him and then got around with the space behind him, which is a very good trick usually used in boxing as well. You will see a fighter with their backs against the ropes, but then they will spin their fighter, have the other guy against the ropes, and then there is nowhere they can go. That is what he done against Conor McGregor. And in the early stages of the fight, when the first takedown happened, when Dustin was able to get him to the ground, Conor McGregor quickly backed up to the octagon. So he had his back against something solid, so Dustin couldn't wrap him up like he would want to if he wanted to get him in a hold. So Conor McGregor was using little tricks here and there. And in the first round, it was kind of a Conor round I would say, but towards the end, Conor McGregor looked tired. And those leg kicks that were coming in were devastating. It took a lot out of Conor McGregor. I think that emptied his tank quite quickly because he was in a quite a wide stance and that left him open and susceptible to those kicks. Now, Conor McGregor threw a few leg kicks himself towards the head as well, but mainly to the head. There were some good kicks, but he didn't utilize them as he should have. He was trying to box too much as opposed to going in there and having an MMA fight. I mean, he does have a boxing match that he was being considered for, which was Manny Pacquiao. Now, that's obviously going to fall at the wayside after this loss, but do you think that Conor McGregor was going in there looking to box too much as opposed to utilise other aspects that he can, like those kicks? If he would have returned leg kicks as well, then maybe that would have made Dustin think twice about throwing his own. But there was no answer to those leg kicks. In there, you have to return fire. You have to discourage your opponent from throwing the same thing or kicking the same way each and every time. That's what Dustin was able to do. Every time he threw those leg kicks, he knew that he wasn't going to miss because he barely did every time he'd done it. And that is what broke Connor down. And once he started doing that, Connor's feet started to come closer together so that the headshots would cause more of a devastating effect. If his feet are closer together, then the headshots are going to cause more of a devastating effect because he's not riding the shot. He stood almost bolt upright and that is a problem when you are taking heavy handed shots from someone like Dustin in those small gloves. In boxing, I mean it's the same, but if you think about those smaller gloves as well, then that makes it a lot more devastating in there with the UFC fighters. So considering that, Conor McGregor, I mean he was boxing well because I'm saying boxing because that was basically what he was doing. He utilised other aspects but not in the way he should have and there were other things that he could do. He could try and counter those leg kicks by stepping around. He could try and go to the body of Dustin. He used to throw great leg kicks into the body. He was doing that in there with Habib, trying to go to the body just to slow him down, to bring him down to his pace at some points. He wasn't doing anything other than that. He was showing a complete lack of creativity. I just think that that straight leg kick straight down the pipe to the body would have been a good weapon in thwarting some of the work from a Dustin. But Conor McGregor, as I said, he looked like he wanted to box more than anything else. Maybe that is because he has this boxing match with Manny Pacquiao on his mind. So was he maybe focusing too much on boxing as opposed to other aspects in the build up to this fight? Because that is a big fight and that is something that he has been talking about quite a lot recently. And if you are thinking about crossing over from MMA back to boxing once again, just as he did with Floyd Mayweather, then maybe he is working too much boxing into his training. Remember, yes you can box in there, but there are other things that can be used and utilised in the game. And Conor McGregor shown a lack of creativity when going about that in there with Dustin Poirot. And when Dustin had jumped on Conor, it was incredible. I mean he shown complete composure when he was doing it, but 
there was devastating punches going in and Connor couldn't recover. It seemed like Connor was like a rabbit caught in the headlights, he didn't really know what to do, but then again he was hurt. He got hurt before the assault came, when he was on the front foot, he was hurt then, you could see it, he was definitely hurt. So considering that, there was little that Conor McGregor could do and that's what happens in this game. All it takes is one kick to land in the wrong place or one punch. That is all it takes, one little mistake and that's it. So I wouldn't say that Conor McGregor is done or anything like that after this. I think that he does need to focus on either MMA or boxing. There's no use trying to do both at the same time because they are different sports. Yes, you can box in the UFC, but you cannot fight UFC or MMA in the boxing ring. They are two completely different sports. Yes, as I said, you can box in the UFC, but you need to have more strings to your bow if you are going to be successful. Conor McGregor does have other things, like some fancy leg kicks. That one straight to the body that he was using against Habib. Yes, he did not get the victory in that fight, but... In that fight with Habib, he was showing a lot more diversity to his game. He was doing different things. Whereas in this particular match, it was mainly just a boxing. And Dustin, when he started working in those leg kicks, that was causing an effect on Conor. And even though Conor McGregor was fit, he was in shape. But when that started happening, he was probably burning nervous energy also. So it was a situation he could not control. Those leg kicks coming in as well were emptying the tank and chipping away at Conor McGregor. I mean... I'd say his leg was completely gone by the time of the knockout. I think that he was probably in a position where it was completely dead. He probably couldn't feel too much into that leg. But there is still a chance for Conor McGregor. He can get a rematch, of course he can. Rematches are renowned in the UFC. I mean, this one was a rematch. So there could be a third one. I'd be interested in that. It would be great. And I think that Conor McGregor does need to adapt and adjust. Maybe add a few things to his game that he's had before. It's not like he has to be an old dog learning new tricks, it's there, he just has to revitalise it, he has to bring it back again, and he can do that, we've seen him come back many times before, let's hope he can do it again, in a third fight, but for now, he needs to focus on UFC, he's a UFC fighter, not a boxer, so I think that is important that he commits to that, as opposed to potentially fighting Manny Pacquiao in the boxing ring, he just needs to take one thing at a time and he will be fine, he will be back, and hopefully there is a third match between Conor McGregor and Dustin. So maybe that can happen later this year. But as I said, he needs to focus on one thing and wait on the other. Boxing can wait. He's a UFC fighter after all. That is the craft that he has dedicated his life to mastering. But guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and a subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.